Hello everybody, welcome back to Amazing Animal Inc's YouTube vlog. We are um, out front of the sanctuary today and we are gonna do an entire facility tour. Yeah, so we do private tours of the sanctuary a lot. Those usually last about an hour and a half, so we'll make this quick for you, but you guys will get to see uh, the whole property. Yeah, a lot of people have been asking us to see everything. So we are gonna do our best to show you everything. Here we go. So this right behind me is our reptile house. This is where we start all of our tours. Um, we come in, we go straight to the reptile house, you fill out waivers, we have a little tiny gift shop, and that's where all the reptiles are. That's where you meet some reptiles. So when you first enter the building, on the left-hand side is the gift shop check-in area. On the right-hand side is all of our reptiles. And uh, we started out as a reptile rescue. And check out our other videos that show you all of these animals in depth. You start the sanctuary tour inside the reptile house, and you get to meet a couple of our friends. Usually we bring out a snake and a lizard, and you get hands-on with snakes and lizards when you book a tour. So Kylie, what is your favorite animal on the sanctuary, and why? Ooh. That's a tough question. Um, I am a cat person though, so I love my cats, the Joffreys and our Bobcat. Uh, I just have a really great relationship that I've worked really hard to build with them, so I love teaching people about them and you know showing off these cats that some people have never seen before. So I'm a cat person. Awesome. What about you? Sloss. Sloss. <laughs> so that was the quick walk from the reptile house to where our first exhibits are, um, kind of through the backyard of the sanctuary, and now we're going to start off. So this little cutie is Champ, our champagne colored skunk. And he's still the same thing as a black and white skunk, just a different color variation that people have bred for these fun, beautiful colors. And they sell them as house pets. Now he's really adorable, but he is not a very good house pet choice. They have these really long nails that you're holding onto my keys with. Thank you, can I have these back? Thanks. Um, and some pretty impressive teeth. So skunks use those nails and teeth to forage in the wild as a house pet. They're gonna do the same thing and kind of tear up the house. So 
So he has fun being outside. He loves coming out to meet people. So during the tour, you do get to give him a nice little back rub. He's very fluffy. Yeah, give him a little back rubs. He loves meeting people. Good morning. Good morning. What is that? Yeah. So this is Rio. He is our male Joffrey cat. He's our biggest guy. He's about nine pounds full grown. Uh, again, one of my favorite cats. Uh, I've worked with him. Uh, he's about four years old now. So almost his whole life. He's been here being an ambassador for us, teaching people. And uh, Ari, his girlfriend's in here too. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people ask us how big our facility is. We have 2.44 acres, and this back fence line here is um, the back of what I fenced when we first started uh, building the sanctuary. We go way back, um, all that's our property. Uh, we can only afford to fence so much, and with our fish and wildlife and USDA laws and rules that we do get inspected by, um, we have to have a six foot perimeter fence around all of the exhibits. So. Um, Fencing is expensive. So yeah, we could go back further, but then I would have to cut down a lot more trees and uh, clear out some more land and move more fence. And it's gonna be a huge project if we wanna expand the sanctuary anytime soon. So, and right over here is our pavilion. Um, we have a little bleachers set up here that uh, we do a lot of shows for, got a little dark under there. We do a lot of shows for Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts and birthday parties and private events and uh, we have a little signage up here, a little box. So we'll come under the pavilion. Um, it has fans, which is nice when it's super hot here in Florida in the summer. But um, we'll do sit down shows here. So if you ever book a private experience, we could sit down, um, about 50 people fit on the bleachers and um, do a little show for you and then let you go out and see all the animals in the sanctuary. So we will keep on moving on here. We got more Joffrey cats.
All right, we're gonna come on in with PJ and Penelope. So yeah, during your tour, I think one of people's favorite things to do is come in with the capybaras um, and you get to pet them. Penelope will come right over to you. PJ is a little more standoffish. Those of you that have been to a tour, you probably know um, you don't see much of PJ. Um, he'll take food from you, but that's about it. Penelope is a lap cappy, a lap capybara. She literally thinks she's like a golden retriever. She's going to come sit in your lap and love on you. And um, yeah. She's amazing. She's one of the coolest experiences I think you can do here in Florida um, to meet our capybaras uh, hands-on. Uh, the tours are private. It's just you and your family and your group, and you get to come in and hang out with a huge capybara, the largest rodent in the world. All right, so we have Willow, our bobcat, sleeping up in her hammock. Uh, if you've come on a tour, you've probably heard me say that she is my princess. She was actually a non-releasable bobcat. Uh, she enjoys her hammock and her pampered lifestyle here because she was raised by people, so she doesn't quite know how to be wild. Uh, she likes her chicken chopped up and prepared nicely. So we love her to death. She is one that took me about a year to build the relationship I have with her, uh, which is why I call her my princess. So a lot of people ask us about age requirements for the tours. Um, we do not have an age requirement because it's a private experience. It's just you and your family. But when you do bring little kids, generally their most favorite part of the tour is right behind me here, the barnyard. Little kids, they read books about barnyard animals. Um, they're very comfortable with these animals. Uh, and this is kind of the petting zoo experience um, all these guys were rescued ex-pets in here and uh, we give a lot of fun things and kids usually enjoy the barnyard so let's see the barnyard Have you ever kissed a donkey? Hi. 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 What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hi. My goodness gracious. My goodness. You want to be in the camera? You're trying to be in the camera? Oh my goodness. Oh, you want a hug? He wants a hug. Oh, big hug. Have you ever hugged a donkey? Seriously. What are you doing? Can I have a hug?
All right, so next we have Gambit and Thor. These are our marbled foxes, and they know a couple behaviors that we like to show off during the tour, and they actually love veggies, so people are surprised foxes will eat everything. So let's see if they'll come on over. Gambit, come here. Get this, good boy. You gonna sit? Come here, Gambit. Good boy, Gambit. Up, up. I know the camera's a little scary. Up here, bud. Good boy, you gonna sit? Good job. There you go. <laughs> So probably everyone's favorite part of our tours are meeting our two sloths, Luke and Lily. So we have Luke and Lily in here, our two toad sloths. They came from another zoological institution. And this is probably people's highlight of the tour. We end in the sloth exhibit pretty much. Um, and you get to pet and feed and take all the photos you want with a sloth. Now, a lot of people do ask us, do you get to pick them up? Do you get to hold them? No, this is as close of an encounter pretty much as you get. They are basically face to face with you. They hang, it's up to them to participate during our tours. We let them choose where they want to go in the exhibit, what they want to eat. We give them lots of variety and if they want to participate. We do have two right now. Luke is in the box. He's not waking up this morning and that's totally fine. It's up to them to hang out with us. Um, we do do everything we can do in our power to get them out and wake up and come out and see you. Um, I don't think we've ever had a tour that hasn't been able to meet the sloths. She's like, nope, green beans, Brian. It's a green bean morning. <laughs> But um, like I said, you get all the photos you want to take. Uh, you get to pet them, feed them, and you're in with them with just you and your group for about 10 to 15 straight minutes we spend about in here. So um, it's a very cool hands-on experience, a once in a lifetime opportunity. So yeah, then all of our tours end in the gift shop um, where you'll finish paying and you uh, can hopefully buy some cool things to help support the sanctuary. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. We have lots of fun animals. Um, we have lots of cool experiences. You get hands-on. We are not open to the public. It's by appointment only. And as soon as this crazy pandemic is over, we're gonna hopefully start ramping up our tours again. Um, hopefully next month if we're lucky. <laughs> but we hope you enjoyed seeing the sanctuary. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into building this place. Yeah, and uh, I miss doing the tour, so I'm glad we got to do a little virtual tour for you guys today. And uh, like Brian said, once we're up and going, once everything gets back to normal, we hope you guys book a tour, come out and visit us, come see all the animals, learn all about them, and uh, yeah. have some fun. Yeah, go out there and, and do, do something, something amazing. amazing.